Hello, I want to talk about a new application I've created. When you create games for Classic or Max and you've done everything that you think is worth creating a standalone with, one of the downfalls, um, which will be addressed with Max, I believe, is there is no launcher, i.e. end users find it difficult to change key mappings. Um, so I've created an app that allows the end user to actually do that. So let's get into it. X install launcher builder is the app that you would use to build your launcher for the end user. As it says here, it's very straightforward. It's a basic app um, select file new to get started. What this is asking for is your standalone folder. When you export a standalone from classic or max, it'll ask for a destination folder. That destination folder is the input folder for this. So with a game that Synchromesh has created called Protoscope is kindly give me permission to use that as a demo. This is the actual file that was a standalone, all encrypted uh, as normal. So if you select that folder, it'll say it's loaded Protoscope. Now it's asking for uh, an image. The image is what the end user's experience will be, where all the buttons and everything will be placed. This will be expanded on and eventually I will allow videos and things like that. So let's first of all, let's load an image. So Synchromesh just sent this image to me, just a standard PNG. The buttons here were not included in the image. This is what the application will place automatically. What Synchromesh did was add his own title. He didn't need to do that, but he wanted that on his image anyway. Um, you could actually create a title and all your text on the image and just use that. You don't even need to add any extra text. Um, what I mean by adding extra text is with the options here, we can add three different types of text. A description about the game, a description of the developer, and a copyright or disclaimer if required. These are all free form. So um, the sync has sent me the information for these. So if I just copy those, and paste them into here. This is his basic game description. Now with the, the description, it's completely free form. You can put in what you want and you can move it and place it where you want. Same again for the buttons. We can move and place them where we want as well. Um, it's not defined. You can set it as you wish. Um, the thing that we can do here now as well is we can choose the font for that text. Now bear in mind that these are Windows fonts. Whatever font you have installed doesn't necessarily mean that the end user will have the same font. So it's best sticking to the safe style of fonts, um, the standard Microsoft fonts, the true type fonts. Um, there's quite a few, but in here I've got some third party. Synchromesh's actual font is this. So for the purpose of this demo, I will use that font so that you can see of what can be done. As far as fonts are concerned, I will look into distributing fonts. Some fonts you're not allowed to due to licensing restrictions, but I'll see what can be done. But for the purpose of this, it's easier if you stick to the fonts that are built into the system. So once you've got your font set, obviously you can choose a color. For this one, we'll have it in a, a bright green. Again, with the buttons, you can change the font on them to match or you can leave them the same. I'll change these to match. So the font Porsche will go, that's the play game. So we'll make that big and stand out. So we'll have that there. We'll put the controls button over here, website there, yeah, here. Uh, controls, change the font on that. Don't want it as big as that. So we'll drop it to 14. Game of the website. Back to 14. Exit. 14.2. Okay. The highlight and the font text can also be changed. So the <coughs> font color, we we'll, can have that as a gray. And the hover color, we'll change that to a blue. We'll leave these as is. But the play game will make it separate for this uh, purpose. 
Now the website button, these one, two, three, four buttons are the basic buttons. I think as far as the launch is concerned, that's all the end user requires to be able to play the game, change controls, visit a website if needed and exit the launcher. The website button will only show if you add a web address. If you don't add a web address, the website button will not show to the end user. So we'll add a web address and we'll add the forum post that Synchromesh has made for Protoscope. You can add your own website or web address. But the URL has to be a full URL, including the HTTPS. Okay. Once you've done that, you can test to make sure that the end user will go to where you want them to go, which in this case is correct. Okay. So we'll stick with that. Now that we've got the basic text in there let's put the developer description so as far as that is concerned it's just basic text you can put it in wherever you want but uh, as far as this we'll just put that it was designed and coded by Synchromesh now as far as that text is concerned like I say it is free form but with Windows sometimes a special character you have to type in twice for it to appear so with the AND character, that is one of those characters that you do have to type in twice. Or you could just type the word AND entirely up to you. Um, so we'll now add is copyright. Okay, we can change the font and color on those as well if we wish. Um, actually put this over here. lay it out how you want how you see fit your image is important so if you create an image and you you could actually collect create room on the image for the buttons so that it all blends in nicely it's entirely up to you now that we've got the text let's add some music so I'll open uh, an audio track that Tarkus created for me a while ago that's a good track actually we can actually test now as far as the sound is concerned, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we'll just test it. I would imagine that is quite loud, but um, nice tune. So we'll use that. Um, so this is basically the menu done. The controls, the play game and the exit is all coded. So you don't need to touch them. You, you don't need to add anything to them. It's just a website. Obviously, I don't know what your web address would be. So that's why that's there. The next thing we can add is the end user's desktop icon. We can change it. So let's do that now. Um, Synchromesh has got his own icon. So I will use that. Okay. All done. So all we need to do now is build the launcher. So we do that by going to file and build. Um, it will ask for a folder where to save the setup. So I'll create a new folder. Photoscope and this is the actual file folder you would send to the end user. So it'll go away now and build your menu or your launcher. <coughs> And just take a few minutes and there we go it's completed we can close that now if we go to the documents protoscope installer there's the actual file that's the file you would send to your end user or host it on a website whatever obviously you'll have to zip it up and um, so the end user will see this and this is what will happen when the end user runs it it will extract, it will always extract to documents downloaded games and the folder of the game, the name of the game. Um, eventually, I hope you can still hear me. Let's just turn that down a bit. Eventually, I will change that so that it can be a user destination, but you have to be careful. It has to be a writable folder. So, I'm sure you can hear the background music playing. We can test the website. It goes direct to the website we want it to. The controls. 
the user has the option of changing all the controls and a brief description of what the controls actually do. Basically, you just choose a value. If you're not sure what the key number is, just show the keyboard map and every letter that can be used has its own DirectX code. So if, for instance, if we wanted um, forward to be 35, the H key, all we do is drop that down, change it to 35, update the value, then save the settings, done. But obviously for this, we'll stick to the default, update value, save settings, cancel that. Now all we need to do is test the game. You probably cannot hear the music and sound for the game because I've had to turn the volume right down. But yes, they do work. As you can hear, as you can hear, the sound does work. Now, Synchromesh has made a fantastic game. I can't wait for him to release it fully so that we can play it but that was a classic game let's just test a max game same principle we look for the folder that the standalone was created in and again this is another synchromesh game for max which was the trapped game also a very good one trapped demo there it is so we select that folder click ok load our image and I think I've got a picture that we can use yes there we go so obviously this is the launcher screen now we can add some basic text I say options add text game description Copy the text that he sent me. Paste. Now we need to organize this slightly. So I think um, rest of you are the only thing. You are the only thing. So if we take that down, we can move that over there. That's fine, I think. Uh, play game controls again with a play game we can change that to whatever we want in this case I'll just increase the font size controls increase the font size on that one I think not as big as that but to it's all personal preference how you want it to look entirely up to you The exit down there, website in the middle, controls. This time I'm not going to add anything to the website. So as you said before, the web address, I'm not going to add that so you can see it. Um, I'm not going to add any background music to this one either. So let's just do a quick build of that. And um, we'll tell you what we will do. We'll change the desktop icon. Let's find something we can use. That'll do. Okay, now all we need to do is build the game. Now, as far as Max installers, at the moment, they will be quite large because for some reason, when you save a standalone from Max, it saves everything, everything that's in the folders that's not required. I am pretty certain they will sort that out eventually but the size of the games for uh, Max are huge gigabytes rather than megabytes. So I think it's one of those things that will get sorted eventually. So obviously with this being so large, it's took longer to do, but we have now finished. Close that. We'll go to the folder that I created, which is a trapped installer. And it's got the icon and there's the setup. And yes, it's over one gig in size. 
so we'll run this again it's going to extract through downloaded games game name this allows the users to um, have full control of where the games are you could just delete the downloaded games and it's gone there's no other resources being used they're all in that specific folder almost finished and there we go I had no background music for this but as you can see the website button is not showing because we didn't add a URL controls is exactly the same and we can actually play the game And there we go obviously there's no sound because i've got the sound turned right down but um that's it basically so thanks for watching and i'll speak again soon bye